What's going on guys? It's Noah and today I'm teaching you guys how to combo. And so this is not easy. It's actually hard for some people. And basically what this actually means is it mostly involves your frame and your seat. So it, it's just like a set of tricks. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a set of tricks on your bike. So for example, a knee knock, you know, it, tricks I guess combined. And so I'm gonna teach you guys how to combo first. And I'm gonna show you guys also some combos you can do. So you're not stuck with not knowing how to do any combos. So yeah, let's get right into it. I also as well, when we have my GoPro, so it's gonna be easier for me to talk instead of with my phone. You guys can actually see, you know, the full GoPro effect and I guess just see what it actually looks like from my POV. And then I also have some clips of me from my phone without the GoPro POV. All right guys, so before you combo, you wanna make sure you can wheelie, go a couple feet and just make sure you can use your back brake so you can lean back like this. Use your brake um, and just make sure that you have full control and you are very confident using the back brake. And you also want to uh, make sure that you can peg wheelie. And so this basically means you can either kick it up from right here or you can pedal and go straight up the pegs like I, you, like you see me um, mostly do. Okay, so first you wanna know how to peg wheelie. And so I'm just gonna kick up, you know, like that. And you also wanna make sure that you can land peg wheelies, um, just so that you're consistent with them. And so when you, so you can land a combo. All right, so doing a combo is not easy, but what I recommend is using your back brake and a finding whichever foot you're comfortable with on the seat. So either your left or right, it doesn't really matter. And so you wanna get more speed than usual. I would say like go, go a little bit faster than you would for some other tricks and then pull up and whichever foot you want and just put your knee on the seat. And so keep practicing to put your foot, whichever foot you want up. So up like that because most uh, combo combos involve either putting your feet up or across, um, you know, side to side doesn't really matter. Just make sure you're comfortable with that. And so you also want to get comfortable with your other foot. So actually I'm not that comfortable with this foot really using it for most combos. I really don't use it for crisscrosses or if I'm putting my foot in the frame. Other than that, I don't really use it a lot, but make sure, you know, you can use both feet because then that'll make you even better than you would be with uh, one leg. You want to find a nice open area, like a little strip right here, get tons of speed, and then pull up, put your knee on your seat, and try to land that. And so the first combo I'm going to teach you guys is a knee knock. And this involves basically putting your knee on the seat and putting it over like that. And so it's gonna take some time. Um, the hardest part I'm gonna say for it is getting your other leg over. Um, just because you're not used to the balance of, you know, it's kind of weird because your balance is on that side. Just once, you know, once you're used to it, it's actually super easy. So I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like right now. All right, ready? So I go up to my pegs, get my knee on the seat, put it over, and land it. And that basically just really involves practice, uh, balance, and just being confident in your back brake, as I said earlier. Um, make sure you can use that back brake so, you know, to drop back. And also, um, if, you don't, if you're not comfortable with putting your um, foot over yet, you could also do something like a double knee knock, which is basically just putting both knees on the seat. And when you get even better, you can switch them which is hard, but people can do it and they're crazy at it. So I'm gonna have a clip of me doing a knee knock uh, right now without the GoPro POV, just so it shows, you know, just so you guys can see what it looks like. I bet you've probably seen it in my other videos or other clips, but I'm just gonna put it in for the reference uh, right now. All right, so the next combo is gonna be a crisscross. 
And basically, as I actually said earlier, you wanna be confident in both your legs because um, you wanna use this leg to either put your leg like this, put it over, and then you do a crisscross. Or uh, you can do uh, it this way, doing it in a knee knock motion where you put your knee on the seat, right? And then, like that. Doing it like that, you slide your knee down. Now, that one's a little bit harder, but I guess everyone's gonna have their own says. Um, I guess everyone's gonna have their own opinions on it. People may think it's easier or harder. All right, so the next trick I'm gonna teach you is basically where you get your knee, put it, get your knee, put it in the frame, then get your um, left leg right here, out like that. And so this one's actually a little bit harder, but it actually may take, um, it actually may be way quicker to learn, which actually it took me like two days to learn, and I didn't even practice. It took me like 30 minutes to get it down and then to land it. So I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like right now. And so there are tons of other tricks you can do. Um, like tap dances, seat stands. Um, I don't even know, knee knock switches. I have a video on some other tricks that like are some beginner tricks like uh, foot drags. Um, you know, foot over frame, peg wheelies, just stuff like that to get you to know the basics. And then once you know all that, come back to here, then run out of combo. At the end of the video, and I just want to say thank you guys so much for almost 7,000 subscribers. That's crazy. I've never thought I would have made it here. And also, make sure to follow my Instagram because in my next video, I'm going to have something pretty nice and pretty new. So, um, on my story, when I post a new video, it'll pop up immediately. So make sure to check, you know, my Instagram out. Make sure to follow it, and I'll also be doing a giveaway soon. As I said in this video, um, just go make sure to follow it. And also, thank you guys so much for the amount of support on all my videos. Um, just 600,000 views on my weekly progression is crazy, and just views in general and the support you guys put in. So thank you guys so much, and uh, yeah, peace out.